a haul from Hobby Lobby that I'm going to share with you guys today. So I went to look, right? Not to get anything, just to like peep around. And of course, I left with two bags. <laughs> but they have so many new cute stuff that I had to have. Like I had to have these right here. They are fuzzy, like little felt. They say Merry Christmas. Does anybody remember when they used to sell these and they were like this big? They were like half the size. Oh my gosh, those were my favorite. I would string them up. Well, not string them up. I'd put jump rings to the top right here and then use them on my chunky charms. So I've been searching and searching for those and they came out with these instead. So I'm hoping that maybe they'll come back with the small ones. I haven't been able to find them yet. But Christmas is 50% off, so these were $3, and you know, so $1.50 for the four. I wish that they came in more colors, too. Like, this red is really cute, but like, a gold, a green, you know, some other colors would be really nice. So, what I get? I got four of those, because I'm crazy. <laughs> you know, you start thinking, like, okay, maybe I'll use one for a chunky charm. Then I could do, like, maybe a memory deck, or like a cover, and you know, so I'm like, okay, I need to get them while they're there. And I got these little guys. These were six dollars, uh, full price, three dollars, and they're just really cute. They're thick. They're little plushy guys. I just thought they were really, really adorable. I love that one is Rudolph. Then you have like a regular little reindeer. So, so stinking cute. Absolutely love those. Then they're making like their own shakers. You guys, you hear that? Love the noise. So, full price is $7. Like I said, everything's 50% off. So, you get two reindeer, Rudolphs, and then two Santas. So, you can definitely decorate these. Add, you know, maybe some glitter to the hat. Put a little fuzzy pom-pom right here. Same thing with his nose. So, go ahead and jazz these up. Add a little googly eye maybe for Rudolph's eyes. You know, just go ahead and make them your own. I think it would be really cute. So, I love how fun those are. Uh, let's see. These I had never seen before either. I'm telling you, there's so much new stuff. So, I don't know. It's pink, but not pink. Kind of like a little coral. So, I was like, they're new. I got to get them. They're these, like, little silicone backings. I could definitely do some chunky charms out of these. And those were, what, $2.50 for those? So, super cute. I love the glitter on them. It kind of makes it look like snow. Adorable. Okay, so... I've done a candy chunky charm before for Christmas and I wanted to do another one because they have new candies this year. So I have never seen this style of candy before. So you see the wrapper is blue and then like this one, the wrapper is all purple and so on. Um, oh, this one I could actually use for like Halloween. That would be really nice. Oh, I should have got more. Did I only get one? Let's see. This was um, $3.50. Oh, I should have got more because I could definitely use this for Halloween. Like that orange and the purple and the green. Ugh. Okay, I'm going to have to run back because I'm afraid of them running out. So I got one pack of that one. I got one pack of these. These I feel like they've had before in the past. I feel like I might have a couple left in my stash. So I got those little candies. There are these little lollipops right here. I know I've definitely had them before. I just can't remember how much I still have left. So those were five bucks minus 50. Let's see, $6 for these like little gumdrops. So in my video that I did before, what I did was, you see how it has this little string right here? I just pull it out. You can just pull it right on out, get an eye screw, add some glue, and then stick it right back in that same hole where that little thread is. And you can use these for chunky charms. That's what I've done in the past. So that's my plan to use with those. Oh, and they do come, you can see the string back here. So if you do want to use them, what they're intended for, for actual ornaments, you can definitely do that. Uh, but like I said, I, dump, I put a jump ring through the hole right here. The other thing I've done is I've cut off the little loop right there at the top. You can just easily snip it with your scissors and then just use it as like a little layering embellishment. I think I used it on um, a birdhouse. I had decorated a birdhouse into like a Christmas theme and I just clipped off those little top loops and then just glued the little like lollipops and all the little candies just as like little embellishments. Let's see. Oh, I did get two. Yes. Thanks to me for being smart. <laughs> but now I feel like I want more now that I realize I can use it for Halloween and Christmas. Now I'm like, I need another pack. And I'm so afraid that they're going to sell out is my problem. Let's see. Okay, here is the other pack of little candies that I got. So, $3.50. So, they match like these. So, there's the bigger ones and the smaller ones. 
So yeah, I'm gonna use all of those to put a little project together. Like I said, probably a chunky charm, and I don't know what else I'll figure out with those. And then they have the big peppermints. Now they usually have a small one as well, but I haven't found those yet, or I might have passed it and just missed it, but I don't think I've seen those yet. So definitely look for both sizes because they do have two different sizes and when i find the other peppermint i definitely want to get them because uh, i think it was like two years ago that i did a red and white chunky charm and oh my gosh i kept it for myself i think that's about the only thing that i've created that i kept for myself because i just loved it so so much so definitely want to make another one of those Let's see, there were these little stickers. They're only a dollar, because like I said, uh, Chris was 50% off, and I just thought they were really, really pretty. I only found one pack, and I feel like somebody just threw it off to the side because it wasn't like up on a pegboard. It was like laying flat on a shelf, and I couldn't find more. If I find more, I'm definitely gonna pick up more of these, especially for a buck. Like if this was a Dollar Tree, y'all know you'd get a couple, right? So I need to go find some more of those. And then, oh look, here's my other ones. Oh, I wanted to buy like three of these. I'm not even kidding because I was afraid that they would sell out and I love these so much. Like there is a sticker version of these. It's kind of 3D and I think it was last year that my mom crocheted little snow globes and then I actually glued the truck onto the snow globe. So to actually find ornaments this year, I think it's amazing. And again, they're shakers. So I love that little noise. So yeah, I was good. I only bought the one. So telling you trying to do better with my shopping these two i wanted to buy like three of these but i was good i didn't i'm regretting it <laughs> what can i say so they're little letters to santa see all of my stuff came from the um my little christmas that is like my favorite favorite place to shop for ornaments and for like crafting for the christmas stuff so i got these little guys and actually now that i see it i'm like i got one that's messed up how did i do that I don't think you can see it on camera, but it's actually like creased right here. Like if somebody tried to like pull it out and it's like actually like a little crinkly. So oh, I'll have to sacrifice and go buy another one. <laughs> but I got that guy. I bought these little like cones, right? So um, Michelle, who sends me the box of smiles, she did a little Halloween tree and she used little charms on pins and i've always wanted to make a christmas tree but using some of the junk jewelry that i get from those mystery bags and mystery jars that i get from the thrift store so i got these i'm gonna try to do what she did where she wrapped it in fabric and then glue the jewelry on there and these are actually really small so i think it's a good starter that way it's nothing too big so i got six of those and then I also bought this one as well in case I don't like how these come out. I figured I could just go ahead and glue. See, it's like a little tree. I can go ahead and glue the pieces of jewelry on here as well. And those only come out to a buck and there's two of them. And they're nice thick felt also. So uh, that's really nice. So I might try one or the other or try both depending on how much jewelry I have. I'm like, we'll have to see how that works out for me. Uh, let's see what else did I get in here. So I have some 90% off items. I thought this guy was hilarious. So I'm down in San Diego, which is right next to the border. I am very, very close to the border. So I thought this little guy right here with his sombrero and his taco was hilarious. And he came out to 64 cents. So not bad for that little guy. Then this one was 59 cents. And y'all know me and I love my little Nomi homies and being naughty. So I thought that was really cute. This one I didn't notice, so this one was 34 cents. So when I picked it up, I saw it like this, and I'm like, oh, wow, that's beautiful. It's perfect. Well, actually, it's chipped back here. So the lady, when I was paying, the cashier was like, hey, did you know it's broken? Do you still want it? And I was like, oh, yeah, absolutely, because it was the only one there. And I don't mind. I'm going to stick my plant in here, and then you can't even tell. Like, if I put this to the back wall, like facing the wall, you wouldn't even be able to tell. So if you see something this cheap and it's broken, just go ahead and pick it up because you can always hide it. If I have paint that matches this, I can always paint this as well to kind of make it blend in a little bit more. So I'm not too worried about that at all. Okay, last couple of items here. I got this guy. It is actually an ornament. So you know how they have that aisle of just ornaments? That's where this was. So this came out to $2.50, you guys. 
I think it is so cute. You do not have to use it as an ornament. You can always take off this jump ring right here. So that way you take off the little ribbon part and you can just go ahead and have this on the table. That's what I'm going to do with this. I think it'd be really, really cute right in front of my TV. It's nice and miniature size. I probably should have got two, honestly, because if you like decorating your bathroom, this would be perfect for that because it's not big at all. So I kind of wish I would have got more. And then look, you can actually see that the star lights up as well, which I love. So I definitely need to go back and get more of these because I just think that they are so cute. I love the tiny little size. If you have kids and they've always wanted like a tree in their room, this might be really cute because it's nice and small and it's affordable. For $2.50, I feel like if the kids break it, it's not a big deal. It's only a couple bucks, you know, so I definitely need to go back and grab some more of these. I only saw them in white. I don't know if they have other colors. Like I would have personally preferred green because our trees that we always get are green. So uh, that's just my personal preference, but I think it's a really, really good deal for that price. I'm going to turn that off. And then... I got these jump rings. I always get my jump rings from Hobby Lobby. I think they're really good quality, but I always make sure and I only buy the heavy gauge. So I'll say right there, heavy gauge. And I got these gunmetal ones because I've been using them for Halloween. So I made a couple more little like um, bead and charm dangles and I'm almost out. So i so happy that I found them. Now, the heavy gauge does come in gold, silver, and gunmetal. So, if you need the jump rings, definitely get it from there because it does make a difference. If you, um, when you open them, you'll be able to tell right away the difference that they open, you know, kind of, it's a little bit harder to open, but you know that your pieces are going to be nice and steady on there. Like, if you give it a little tug, it's not coming undone. Or sometimes with the thinner jump rings, you can give it a little tug and your charm or your bead will pop right off. So that's why I love these heavy gauge ones. So if you can find them, definitely pick these up. Have a little stash going because they're really, really nice. Okay, last item here. Bow Bunny has a bunch of new stamps. I need to try to get a Hobby Lobby so I could do a shop with me video for you guys so you can see all the new stuff. They're finally stocking things and my store is completely changed up on where things are. Like the Tim Holtz is not in the Tim Holtz section anymore. And it is like a fraction of the size of it used to be. It's insane how much smaller that section is. So I need to go back and show you guys what it looks like. But these were only $2.50, which I thought was a super good deal. I love postage. Honestly, I probably have something like this in my stash already. I've bought a couple of sets from Timu. And I haven't used not a one. <laughs> but I just love them. And I'm like, oh, I need that. So, um... Yeah, and the thing that drawn me to this one was, so I've told you guys a story before about ending up with 666 in a lot of my stuff, and I've always tried to avoid that number. I was always told growing up, like, it's an unholy number, you know, try to avoid it, and my brand new car ends in 666. I waited over two hours at the DMV waiting to try to trade out my plate, and they told me I would have to pay for a whole new registration, like whole new plates, if I wanted them. I'm like, I literally just bought this car. You guys mailed me my new plates, and I don't want this plate number. I'm like, it's a religious thing. And they're like, nope, you're stuck with it. So now we've had to make a joke out of it, you know? Like, it just is what it is. Like, we're going to have to live with it. So when I saw that this is like meant to be like ended 999, it reminded me of my car. So I'm like, oh my gosh, I could use that stamp with the photo of the car because uh, we did take pictures with the car when we first got it. And I think I even posted our, um, our new car when I got it uh, last year back in like, was it June? So I was like, okay, I'm like, I need to put that with that. But yeah, on a bunch of stuff, it just comes up like I cannot avoid it over all these years that I've kind of just... I'm like, okay, you know, so anyways, that's my little rant about that. But <laughs> anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys are having an amazing day and we'll see you later. Bye guys.